Hey friends, Michael Moon here. How you doing today? Hey, I just wanted to come to you and just kind of let you know an update of what's going on um, with the wide 10. Uh, unfortunately, I have some really bad news for me. Great news for somebody else though. But uh, the wide 10 was harvested on the opening day of gun season. And uh, he was all that I thought he was, you know, as far as his rack. Uh, just a really, really nice deer. And this young man that, that killed him was 16 years old. And I knew, I knew the wide 10 was in trouble whenever four days before the, the rifle season opened, he ended up down on my, my buddy's place and he was getting pictures of him. And I thought, man, that, he's, he's just, he's asking for trouble. A uh, 16 year old kid sitting up in a tree stand was able to harvest him uh, right after first light on a, uh, opening day of gun season so happy for him sad for me i just want to add i am super excited for this young man i mean man if i could have killed a buck like that when i was 16 years old how awesome is that i mean 150 inch deer uh just a, a really really nice deer 145 150 inch deer but um how exciting is that so i'm happy for him i don't begrudge it at all i'm a little sad for myself and for the guys, others that were probably hoping to get a look at, at the wide 10. Uh, it definitely changes things for me now. Um, honestly, I don't have a buck at this time that I want to go after. So I'm kind of, you know, at a loss. And I may look at the way I did things uh, this year and probably just try to uh, do it better next year. But I had ample opportunity to kill the wide 10 and I just couldn't get it done. Um, the best chance I had, I had him at 31 yards for 15, 20 minutes, but he never presented a shot, was always face on. And I've had some people criticize me about not taking that shot, but I'm not gonna take that shot at a deer with a bow at, at that distance. If he was six yards from me and I was shooting straight down into his back, that's a different story. I, I If I could get beside that, that uh, backbone, I might take that shot, but I'm not going to take that shot and that's all he gave me so i grunted at him when he walked broadside he was there for just two seconds not long enough to get a shot so anyway um the other night i was hunting you saw i'm showing you some footage right now of it the other night i was hunting in this food plot hadn't hunted it all year long and a big eight that we've known as a tall eight comes out at i don't know 5 15 in the evening comes out onto the food plot feeds for a little bit goes checks the scrapes and then heads on south um i had a shot at him and i honestly started thought about ending my season but he wasn't what he was earlier in the season he's really one of our best bucks but he hasn't been on my property hardly at all uh, I, i've been seeing him down on an area called bitter creek which is about a mile from where i'm standing right now and i know he's been down on a friend of mine's place just south of here but uh he's a he's a nice buck he had uh 10 11 inch g2s and threes and probably five and a half to six inch uh um, brow tines but when i saw him the other day he'd lost three uh points and so he's just, he's he, you know he's an eight that's diminished greatly so I decided I wasn't going to shoot him. And uh, anyway, I got some pictures of him yesterday behind my house. So he's kind of expanding his territory. I got another buck we call Bushel. I passed last year and he's got a, a non-typical side and he's, he's a nice buck, but he's now broken off uh, one complete side. Uh, we've got several other bucks that they're just right there, four and a half years, but nothing to write home about. Why not just give them another year and see what they do? So. You know, I always believe that you need to shoot whatever you're happy with. And right now I don't have anything. So my plan is probably to lay low for a while and not get on stand. Definitely not go kill any does right now and see what happens. You never know. Most of the time, big bucks that come into our area seem to come in during the winter months. So December, uh, that last uh, part of uh, deer bow season, archery season, which is to the 15th of January. And if I have something pop, pop up that's extraordinary, then I'll go after him. The freak is alive. He was alive as of yesterday. We got pictures of him trying to go into a hog trap that we have set up. And uh, 
he's alive and well. It gives me a lot of hope for next year. He's going to be a giant next year. He's going to blow the wide tin out of the water. I mean, he's going to be something else. He's just an awesome deer. I've had so many encounters with that buck this year and passed him, and it, it just leaves you shaking your head. But he is a, he's going to be totally awesome next year. You know, he's a good buck right now, but he's going to be a great buck next year. But anyway, we're going to continue to bring you some good content. But I just want to communicate with you today. Uh, I appreciate you so much for watching the channel. Uh, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. But we'll see you on the next video, and make it a great day.